Hi, I am Dr. Ishu Gupta. I am a cancer specialist. Today, I will discuss questions that my patients frequently ask me about biopsy. A biopsy is a simple but very important procedure that helps in diagnosis of cancer and to decide the type of treatment the patient should receive. How do we take a biopsy? Your doctor first numbs the area from which the biopsy is to be taken from. Then using a small needle, a small piece of tissue is taken from the suspected tumor. It is then sent to the pathologist who looks at it with help of a microscope and identifies the type of cancer. The pathologist might take from 2 to 10 days to report the biopsy. This depends on if any special test is required or not. One of the most common concerns patients express is can biopsy spread the cancer to other parts of the body? This is a common myth. Extensive research has been done on this and reputed studies have shown the risk of cancer spread from a biopsy is extremely minimal. Is the procedure painful? A biopsy is usually performed under local anesthesia or general anesthesia and sometimes other biopsies like the ones from your gut might be obtained using endoscope or a colonoscope, which again makes it painless. In summary, biopsy is minimally invasive, painless procedure, safe procedure that helps in finding out if a patient has cancer, if yes, what type of treatment should be prescribed. Thank you. The word cancer scares everyone like no other medical problem. Cancer is on rise not only in India but throughout the world. Every year more than 10 million people lose their lives to cancer. Namaste. I am Dr. Ishu Gupta. I am a cancer specialist. My patients, family members often ask me, Doc Saab, what can we do to prevent cancer? I tell them, the answer to cancer prevention lies in healthy lifestyle, a nutritious diet, regular physical activity, reducing exposure to harmful chemicals and radiation, staying away from tobacco and alcohol are some of those things that can be done to prevent cancer. They also ask me, is there a medication to prevent cancer? So some vaccines like human papilloma virus vaccine, also known as HPV vaccine, helps to prevent cancer when given to young girls. It is recommended for all girls between the age of 11 to 26 and can reduce the risk of cervical cancer by more than 90%. When patients come to me with cancer in advanced stages, they ask me if there is any way that they could have found this earlier. So because cancer has various causes, a healthy lifestyle does not reduce the risk of cancer to zero. Therefore, routine health checks can help us in early diagnosis. During these visits, screening tests may be offered to healthy people. For breast cancer, we recommend mammography. For cervix cancer, we recommend pap smear testing. For GI malignancies like stomach cancer, colon cancer, we offer endoscopy and colonoscopy. Some blood tests, urine tests and stool tests can also help us catch cancers early. A chest x-ray or a low dose CT scan may be done as a screening test for smokers to screen lung cancer. Most of these tests are non-invasive and painless. The key in cancer treatment is early detection. The chance of cure increases significantly if it is detected at an early stage. Please reach out to your doctor and find out if you need to undergo any of these screening tests. Thank you. Namaste. I am Dr. Ishu Gupta. I am a cancer specialist too. आज किसी को भी ये पता चलता है कि उन्हें कैंसर है तो सबसे पहले तो मन में डर बैठ जाता है 
ऐसा लगने लगता है कि अब कोई इलाज ही नहीं हो पाएगा बाल जड़ जाएंगे और नॉर्मल लाइफ जीना तो बहुत दूर की बात पर कैंसर विशेषज्ञ होने के नाते मैं ये बताना चाहूंगा कि कैंसर जैसी बीमारी का इलाज मुमकिन है अगर समय से इस बीमारी को पहचान लिया जाए तो इस पर काबू बहुत ही आसानी से पाया जा सकता है आज कैंसर भारत में ही नहीं पूरे विश्व में एक बड़ी समस्या है लगभग एक करोड़ से ज्यादा लोग हर साल इस बीमारी से अपनी जान गवा देते हैं सब लोग पूछते हैं कि कैंसर से बचने के लिए क्या उपाय है कैंसर होने के कई कारण होते हैं उनमें से कुछ कारणों को रोका जा सकता है जैसे कि पौष्टिक आहार जिसको हम सब आम भाषा में बैलेंस डाइट भी कहते हैं वजन पर ध्यान देना शराब और तंबाकू से दूर रहना समय समय पर एक रेगुलर हेल्थ चेकअप करवाते रहना कुछ वैक्सीन जैसे कि एच वैक्सीन भी कैंसर से बचने में हमारी मदद करती है ये वैक्सीन 11 से 26 साल की लड़कियों को दी जा सकती है इसके अलावा कुछ टेस्ट होते हैं जो कि कैंसर के टाइमली डायग्नोसिस में हमारी मदद करते हैं जैसे कि मैमोग्राफी पैप्समियर एंडोस्कोपी कोलोनोस्कोपी और कुछ ब्लड और यूरिन टेस्ट भी इसमें मदद दे सकते हैं मेरी सलाह है कि 45 साल की उम्र के बाद हर साल रेगुलर हेल्थ चेकअप करवाते रहे याद रखिए अगर समय से इलाज करवाए तो कैंसर का इलाज मुमकिन है धन्यवाद Hello, I am Dr. Ishu Gupta. I am a cancer specialist. When we hear the word cancer, most people immediately think it's a death sentence. Absolutely incorrect. Cancer patients are now living longer than ever before. Many celebrities like Yuvraj Singh, Sonali Bendre, Manisha Koirala, Lisa Ray were diagnosed with cancer some at advanced stages but fought cancer and now are doing very well. patients with even stage 4 cancer can do well if they receive proper treatment not only are cancer patients living longer now but as a cancer specialist i feel fortunate that i am able to offer them better quality of life when patients hear cancer treatment they think hair loss nausea vomiting pain however with advancing research and breakthroughs There are treatment options which do not cause many side effects like those of hair loss vomiting and are also painless If you or one of your family members are diagnosed with cancer I encourage you not to give up connect to your cancer doctor discuss your concerns and treatment goals with them spend more time with the people who encourage you and support you share how you are feeling with others Although nobody would completely understand your journey but they can very well help you through the difficult time I want you to know that as the field of oncology advances day by day better treatments are being invented to fight cancer The more you feed your spirit and soul with positive energy the better it will help you get through that phase One of the things I always tell my patients is you have cancer but please don't allow cancer to have you thank you